The new Nissan Qashqai. How good is its fuel consumption? Hi there again and here is another video on the new Qashqai 2021 and I've been driving it around now for at least a month well probably six weeks actually and I've managed to now put in two tankfuls of fuel petrol over the period and I've done some calculations and people have been asking me how good is this car on consumption well i've wanted to try to get the best out of the car so i've been driving it always on the eco mode for the duration of these two tankfuls of fuel um, i started off with a tankful of the e new e10 fuel and then i switched over the second uh, tankful that i filled up was at tesco and i used their advanced momentum fuel so the uh, more expensive fuel which i was told reliably by one of my friends that i would get more to the gallon out of a tank of momentum from tesco's so i thought well this is interesting let's let's try that and see how we go so I've now got the results of how well this car does. So I've been driving around, as I said, <laughs> very, very carefully, actually. I've not been pushing this car at all. Um, I've been driving around town as well as motorway driving. So um, I suspect you could say that I've kind of done, you know, the average type of person's mileage. Um, when I've been on the motorway, it's usually been a spell of doing those uh, 50 mile, 60 mile an hour um, speed restriction type driving, which is very, very economical. And I've got out of a tank, or at least the tank says that I've uh, got a range of 500 miles. So by adding together how many miles I've done, with how many miles are left for the car to drive it's always equated to 500 miles of range on both the e10 and the momentum advanced fuel so sorry tesco's and sorry advanced fuels it hasn't made any difference now whether that would make a difference if you were driving a bit harder i don't know and maybe that's the case it's a difficult thing to uh, to quantify really but i've found that both fuels uh, there's no real saving there so i will just be going back and sticking to the e10 fuel so typically uh, how has the car performed on different journeys so if i drive around town and usually if i do then it's probably uh, two three four miles uh, at the most top um, i probably get or do get between 30 miles to the gallon to maybe 40 and again, uh, I'm not driving the car very hard. I'm trying to drive it as economically as possible. So not too bad, I suppose, between 30 and 40. If I do a longer run, as I said, I sometimes I drive on the motorway for 40 minutes, an hour. I can get as good as 53 i think is the best i've got out of it um which i think is pretty good but again i've really really been careful about how i have driven the car and i've tried to get the best out of it possible so over 50 miles to the gallon 
pretty good for a petrol car but as I say you have to be careful you have to drive it very very carefully to get that so that really sums up my calculations for this Nissan Qashqai 2021 model um, I'm quite happy with those consumption figures it's ensuring that uh, you know I can actually probably um, get a month with just two fills which is a little bit more than what I was getting from my diesel I would probably fill my diesel up um, one and a half times in a month so now it's it's twice um, not too bad really I expected it to be a bit more than the diesel obviously um, but it depends it does depend how you drive it uh, and as I said I've been driving it on the eco mode um, yeah it's going to be different if you switch to that standard or sports mode for sure because it really takes off in sports so anyway that's it from me if you want to know any more figures or you think I should experiment with something else then let me know in the comments and I'll try and do that for you but that's it from me for now and I'll see you soon I'm sure bye bye for now bye